Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. In our previous video, we have seen how we can install Power Automate Desktop in our system. And today in this video, we are going to start with uh, how we can use the recorder and we will understand more about Power Automate Desktop. So here in this video, I'll create a small task with the help of recorder and we'll see how we can utilize the recorder in Power Automate Desktop. Before start, if you have not subscribed this channel, I'm requesting you to kindly support us by subscribing this channel so we can create more and more informative video for you. Okay, let's start. So here, I'm going to use a recorder and we will see how we can use a recorder to log into the Salesforce. So let's open Microsoft Power Automate. So Microsoft Power Automate desktop is open now and now we are going to see how we can use the recorder here. So let me give you a little idea about uh, this power automate desktop tool so you can see here in left hand side we have all the commands available okay so in in order to automate your task we have all the commands available here only you have to identify which command is required and you have to just drag and drop here in the body and you can start it in right hand side this is basically the properties okay so here we have the variable and here we have the ui elements in case if we are capturing something so those things we can see it here and the images in case if your process is involved and using any images so those can be available here so variable ui element and images are available here in our right hand side so let's see how this recorder help us on creating a small task to log into salesforce so microsoft power automate desktop recorder uh, is uh, capable of automating task uh, based on desktop applications as well as the web is applications so for in this training we are going to see how we can use this with the uh, web based application so let me click here so it will start recording so before that i'm just closing this so i am just maximizing salesforce now here we can see we have the options like record so you only just have to click on the record we have other features like launch new browser or if you want to perform something if you want to record image also so that can be also done okay so here we will only go with the record options let me click here and here we can see it is asking you to add a comment so let's say if you are recording a lengthy task so here we can add comment also is step by step so it will be easy for us to understand so now once recorder is on whenever you move your mouse so it will highlight you the area wherever you go like this this okay so now our k in our uh, requirement we have to just put the username so i have just done a click and let me put a username okay after that i'll write down the password And now I'll capture the last one, which is login button. So let me click here. So you can see here in the recorder option here, everything got captured and you can see step by step task has been created. Now, next thing is like I have done with the recording. Now let me click here on the done button. So once you click here, it will generate you the sequence of code, which is available here. So if you open this code you can see here so basically and this is uh, referring to the browser which is already open and referring to this site salesforce url and the next is populate text is nothing but it is the place where we are writing our username and you can see here this uh, web browser instance got automatic created and once again if you see this third option where we have 
given the password so password is also available here so as you know password is very uh, sensitive information so automatically it got encrypted and we are not able to see this so let's close this and this is the place where we have done this click so now in order to test it let me log out from the salesforce and i'm going to run this task once again to see whether this is running or not so let's run it from here itself so we can see it started uh, writing the username and password and it also also clicked on the login button so by this way it worked so now let's see i want to pass my username and password into the variable so how it can be done so it can be done in two ways if you want you can create your variable here directly and map with this task or you can create it from here also so we can see here the symbol is here available to select variable or we can create it so let's create a variable so here in power automate desktop we have variable uh, available as output and input so input and output is something input type variable is something where you want to expect something from any other task so let's say you are building a task or a process where you have to pass variable from one task to another task in those cases this input and output will be very helpful so in other processes where we will uh, go with more details i'll explain you each and everything so that will help you and understand where to use input and where to use output type of variable so for in this case let's let's go with the input variable and i'm putting uh, variable name as salesforce username and the variable type will be text so you can see here there are number of options available as variable type so based on need we can select it from the list and the default value i want to keep my username so i'm just going with this and the external name let's put this one only and description is also there if you want to put something you can put it so i'm just putting as salesforce username if you want to make it sensitive you have to just select this uh, box so let's click here so we can see here the variable got created now let's create another variable for password so i'm just putting salesforce password this will be again a text and the default value i'll keep my password and let's make this uh, mark as sensitive okay so once you select any variable as sensitive you won't be able to see the value here okay however for username i have not selected that so we can see the username is rp developer at gmail.com however for, uh, for password it is saying it's a sensitive value so by this way we can create the username now let's map those uh, variable with the task so i have removed this one and i will click here and select this variable as username and let's click on save and similarly we will remove this password and we'll go with the variable selection so we can see it from the option we can select it all right so we have mapped the both the variable here now let's do a quick final run to see whether this uh, variable mapping is running successful or not okay so this is also working fine so with the help of recorder it's it's very straightforward and easy to create any task however there are some challenges also if you use a recorder 
but if you have something which is very straight forward and simple to use so you can go ahead and use the recorder for it so that's all from this video in next video we are going to create a task where we are going to see the excel and the recorder and other uh, ops available actions we will it so basically in the next video we will see a process where bot will read data from the excel file and it will perform something here like you know creating customer account or vendor information something like that those things can be uh, we can see in our next video so those that video will be again little more informative where we can see a small project where bot will perform so many actions so that's all from this video i hope this video is helpful and informative thank you so much for watching this video